good morning from the homestead we've been we've had a busy weekend so far where uh, we didn't get to post anything so it is early sunday morning and uh we'll see what kind of chores we do today we're actually going to about to go to church so i'm just in a rush going to check through everything oh, two of our birds are laying there's one egg there already so we'll leave them alone but usually by noon all our hens have laid so we'll leave them alone let them do their thing so we are raising our own meat um we raised two pigs so we have all the pork meat we need at least until the next fall um no probably until the next spring so about a year's worth of meat these are our chicken chicken meat these birds are our a year's worth of we've been doing well last summer we did about 37 uh, birds we called all our roosters and we did 30 meat birds and that seems we still have meat uh, chicken in the refrigerator so that seems to be the sweet spot for our family we're not selling it's just for our own consumption at this point uh, we could easily scale this like if I built another four or five of these and I could sell 150 chickens at um, you know $25 a piece that would be pretty decent money but uh, right now we're just learning the process of raising our own food <laughs> So I let pick it up. It has wheels on the back and onward we go. We move it forward. The length of the coop. It's not always very easy, especially not if I'm holding this. Let me let me put this down. Rooster shush. They can't hear me. Let's see. Let's see if you can see anything. There we go. There we go. New fresh grass. They seem to be thrilled. I call them my stink birds. Look, they're hungry. There's no food in there. That little black one you see was a surprise bird. We don't know what breed that was. We started off. Hey, shush. Shush. That rooster's going in the pan. He's aggressive. We so far have had zero luck with roosters being somewhat manageable. Right, let me take my glasses off here as I'm going. All right, good morning, turkeys. Good morning, turkeys. Let's see who we got here, huh? That's our turkeys. We got six turkeys going on and then four companion chicks. Supposedly turkey babies are so stupid. They don't know how to eat or drink without watching another bird do it or a mama So when you incubate your own which we did from eggs we got from another farmer um, They need help Hi turkeys Those yellow ones are turkeys the gray one is a different bird We got some surprise birds. We're not quite sure what they are Hey babies it's gonna be warm today, so that little yellow thing is a heat plate. Um, they're much safer than heat lamps. And so during the day, especially it's been like 90 degrees during the day, I, turn, I unplug it. It's about 70 right now in here, which if they're cold, they go, they cuddle up together. They'll be fine, they're about two weeks old now. That's that birds. And that's kind of it. Let me kind of walk you through the garden a little bit. It's gonna be a rush quick little video without any details. Yesterday we spent the day at Shayla's uh, first horse riding competition. Well, it looks like we had some storm. I noticed some rain yesterday. In the middle of the night we lost power. So had some tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Onions, mint, potatoes. 
mint, lettuce. That's got knocked over. I wonder what did that. Oh, Emily's not gonna be happy. Our strawberries. My baby. Something we probably wanted to get in here. Oh, Emily's not gonna be happy. Well, oh gosh. not paying attention a lot can go wrong really quickly on a homestead if you're away for a day animals can get stuck in a fence and die if the gate is left open or the gate opens for whatever reason your animals can get out and get hurt plants a fence a tree can fall on the fence line your animals get out or you know plants get knocked over it's always a fight against nature in some shape, whether you're fighting, you know, bugs that are trying to eat your crop. I'm not sure how this works, so I'm going to leave it just like that for now. My Emily's not going to be happy, but they'll be fine. It looks like they'll be fine. Keep the mulch here. Onward. I built this window greenhouse over the winter. My dad helped me when he came to visit. And uh, there's not much planted in there right now uh, because everything is outside. But we got more tomatoes. That looks like a pepper plant, a little pepper guy. There's more strawberries there. Looks like that is cabbage and rosemary or lavender. Not sure. I think rosemary. That looks like some kind of red cabbage. I think Swiss chard. Radishes. Garlic or onion. I'm not sure. Back here. Another room. Containment tank. So the gutter of my red barn that I built in the winter. Or actually last, last fall. Um, we're putting going to put a gutter and a 330 gallon tank that she will be able to use for the garden. So every every little roof line, we're putting a gutter. And let's see here, our rabbits. Hi, babies. Hi, mama. That mama's gonna give birth today or tomorrow. We're gonna put a nesting box in today because she's. this is day 29 after she was bred with Mr. Meatball. Mr. Meatball is our Papa Dukes. This is our first mama. Hey, mama, your babies are out of your nest. Your babies are out of the nesting box, mama. Look at those babies. There's three little babies there, and there's three more in the box. Hey, mama, be careful with your babies. This is my daughter's uh, money-making hobby. We haven't seen money yet, but uh, it's going to be their process. This is some wood we were able to rescue, cut from uh, some, about five trees we cut down at another property that we're renovating. And I cut slabs for some furniture pieces we wanna make, may possibly to sell, we'll probably keep one or two. And then that's all dimensional lumber we had cut and it has to dry. They say you have to let it dry one year per inch thickness of boards. So if a slab is three inches thick, it has to air dry for three years. Or you do a heat kiln, which I don't have at this moment. I might have to buy one or build one. Um, so we'll see. Right now it's stacked, so it's not in my way. Um, I'll give it a few months and then I'll see if I want to build something with it faster. Then uh, I'll have to build myself a little heat kiln with a dehumidifier. But that's just a quick update on the homestead. We'll post something maybe later this week.